everyone and welcome. I'm Melissa Armo and I own the Stock Swoosh and I wanted to talk to you about margin. Someone emailed me about a trade that was in an email on Apple which cost more than $100 a share and they said oh this is very expensive. Not really. Why? Because most day traders trade on margin. Depending on where you trade, at what broker you trade with, you could get a 4 to 1 margin, you could get a 10 to 1 margin at a proprietary day trading firm. So for example, I'm just going to use a very basic example. Say you have a stock that costs $100 a share, okay? Say you want to take 500 shares of that. How much buying power do you need in order to do that? $50,000 buying power, not cash, okay? When you day trade using margin, that means you take the amount of margin you have, so it would be either 4 divided by 50, or which would be $12,500 cash, or if you're at a 10 to 1 margin place, it would be 10 divided by 50,000, which would be $5,000. So you could buy 500 shares of a stock with a $5,000 cash account at a proprietary brokerage firm if you have 10 to 1 margin. Does, it, does that make sense? So you do not need all this cash in order to day trade the full amount, the cash value. All day traders trade or most day traders trade with margin, all right? So that's one. Two, if you don't want to trade with margin, you can buy calls, which is an option if you're going long a stock, which we went long Apple the other day, or you can buy puts if you're shorting a stock. I have an options newsletter as well. When you trade options, you just pay the cost of the position, which could be $1 or $2 or $3 on a stock like Apple, for example. And again, you don't need anything more than the cost, whatever that cost is for that position, to buy the option. The difference between options is you can hold options overnight, but the options expire in a certain time frame, okay? And you also have to know how to trade options if you're going to do options. It's different from day trading. It's, it's two separate ways of trading the same stock, which you can do. One is not on margin. One is on margin. It depends what you want to do. It depends if you want to day trade or it depends if you want to do options trades. With options, the benefit is you can capture overnight moves. With day trades, you can get quick moves and you can take larger sizes where fast moves that go in several minutes and be done very quickly in the day. So I just want to point that out because someone emailed me and I thought, gosh, you know, I have to do a video on margin. I can't believe that people actually think that when you take 500 shares of a stock like Apple or, or really anything that we trade that costs more than $100 a share, that people think that people are trading these and have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in their account and you're taking cash businesses. That's not the case. I'm surprised that people don't understand margin. I will talk about it more. I will put it more in the emails. But if you do not understand what I'm saying, one, you can Google and read about margin. Two, you can ask your broker. Or three, call me or email me and I'll explain it to you better if you don't understand what I've said here in this video. Okay? But the reason that people can trade, regular people can trade stocks that cost, you know, $100 a share or $200 a share, something like even the, the SPY, like the, you know, which is the ETF for the S&P, is because they're trading on margin. And that's how, okay, with regular accounts. It depends where you trade. You have to talk to the broker about how much margin you can get. Email me at melissa at melissa.thestockswish.com if you have more questions. Thanks, everyone.